Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are talking about Quan image and now it has tools that you love the pose and camera angle of a photo. You can take one picture, generate a depth map to preserve the layout and then change only the style, colors, textures or overall mood. While the subject and framing stay exactly the same. If I talk about in painting, you just brush over the area you want to edit. For example, you want to change the hair of a girl or anyone in the picture. So here, I paint a small mask on the hair, bright red, while the face, skin and background stay exactly as they are. When image just added three control models, Kenny, Depth and in paint. The first thing you do is update your Comfy UI so the new nodes show up. When you are updated, search for the node called Quen Image Diffsynth Control Lens. Drop it on the canvas and hook it to a model patcher loader. That's where you pick which control you want, whether Kenny, Depth or in paint. So after you update your Comfy UI, open Comfy UI's models folder and you will see a new folder called model patches. Put the Quan image control models in your Comfy UI's models model patches folder and then restart Comfy UI. Or you can press R to refresh models. So here I built this as a single simple workflow. So you don't need three different graphs. You just switch what you feed in. If you are in painting, select an image mask from the list. If you are using Kenny or Depth, select the coin image. That's it. I just added a note to make it more easy to understand. So let's set the base model. If you are using checkpoints, open load diffusion model and pick the coin image FP16 or BF16 checkpoint. In load clip, pick the coin text encoder. In load VA, pick the coin image VA file. And if you want speed, you can also turn on the lightning four step LoRa. And if your VRAM is tight, run the GGUF unit. Switch on the GGUF unit no loader bypass load diffusion model and keep the same clip and VA. Q4 works on small GPU and still looks close to FP16 to most eyes in my previous video. So picking sizes is easy in this graph. I added a resolution picker node so you don't have to type numbers. Plug your loaded image into it and it auto matches the image size. If you want a preset, open the preset list and pick a coin friendly size. You can flip it to vertical or keep it horizontal. You can also set a custom size type uh, 1920 by 1080 if you need an exact value. On the graph, there is a small handle you can drag to change the size visually. And there is a TV icon for quick video presets. Choose 720p, 1080p or 4K from the list. Then tap the TV icon again to apply the preset you picked. So before we move on to demos, here is a quick recap. Choose your control, whether Kenny, Depth or in paint. Pick the Quan Base Plus, Clip and VA. Use Lightning if you want 4 step speed or run GGUF Q4 if VRAM is small. The resolution picker follows your image or a preset. So no more typing width and height. So here, for the first demo, I'm using a cartoon image. 
the character is running and holding an X. I want the new image to keep the layout and the motion, but look like my prompt. So I set the control to depth. In the model patcher loader, I pick depth. I keep the same size as the image I loaded, so I don't change the resolution. In the processor, I choose depth V2. In the prompt, I write a simple line. So if you see a missing image message, just connect your loaded image to the control nodes image input, then press generate. So here I got an error the first time because I picked the wrong model and had it bypassed. I switched to the correct model patch and bypass it and run again. The resolution node grabs my image size automatically. Here it shows 1024 by 1024. So I don't touch it. If I want a different size later, there are presets I can pick. So here is the depth map for the boy. A depth map is just grayscale. Closer areas look brighter. Farther areas look darker. I feed this depth map into the Quen Image Diffsynth Control Nets node, set strength to 1 and render. At strength 1, it locks to the depth. The pose stays the same, the X stays in the same hand and the background keeps the same distances. Style and texture can change to match the prompt, but the layout and perspective are fixed. This is one-to-one -one follow. Now, I drop strength to 0 0.7. This is guided but creative. The big shapes and the camera angle still match the depth. But the model can invent small details. In my run, the house and the bag turn into a tree, while the run pose and silhouettes stayed the same. It follows the structure but adds its own ideas. So if I go down to about 0 0.3, the control becomes only a hint. It keeps the general motion and framing. But composition and details can drift a lot more. Use this when you want a similar feel, not a strict copy. Next, I switch to Kenny. In the model patcher loader, I choose Kenny. And in the processor, I select the Kenny Edge Detector. I leave Strength at 1 and hit Generate. First, you will see the Kenny outline, a clean black and white edge sketch of the scene. The final image sticks to those lines very closely. The pose, contours and big edge shapes match the outline. My prompt didn't mention gender, so the model chose a boy this time. If you need something specific, say it in the prompt, like girl in a red jacket or boy in a blue hoodie, and it will automatically follow. Now, I try another in paint example with an enemy character. I go to the get image mask node and set it to output an image underscore mask. I paint a mask over the upper body only, just the shirt area. Then I type a simple instruction and I hit generate. And here is the result. The result swaps to a t-shirt while the face and hair stays the same. So here is a quick note for small VRAM. I switch the base to a Q4 build and turn on the lightning 4-step LoRa. And here my steps are 4, CFG is 1. I load the boy image, paint a mask only on the hair and type change the hair color to red and hit generate. Now this is the result. The hair turns red while the face and background stay put.
if your GPU has 8 to 12 GPU free RAM, this Q4 plus Lightning 4x1 preset is a safe and stable path. So that's the whole idea of control. Depth keeps the shape and the distance in your shot. Kenny follows the outlines like a clean sketch. In paint only changes the part you mask and leaves the rest alone. Strength is how hard the model listens. At one, it sticks to the control and keeps the pose and camera the same. Around 0 0.7, it still follows, but it's allowed to add some small style changes. Around 0 0.3, it treats the control as a hint, so it gets more cre creative. So that's it for today's video. If this helped, please like, subscribe and tell me in the comments what you want me to test next. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.